In today's video, we are going to talk about what are the aspects that you should take into consideration when performing the final approach. So we are really talking about what aspect can actually affect your approach, starting from 10 miles, for example, on the ELS, non-precision approach, RMP approach, whatever it is. Let's say really what you should think about when you're briefing before the approach and when you're actually flying the approach itself. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. V1, rotate. Hi there, my name is Gabriel from PilotClient.com. In today's video, I want to show you what I think when I fly an ILS, an non-precision approach, a RMP approach, when I am actually on final, let's say from the 10 miles down to the touchdown. There are many aspects that can affect your approach that you should take into consideration, especially because during the last part of your approach from 10 miles to the touchdown, the difference is that you should go down on a 3 degrees normally, it could be 3.5, 4 degrees depending, but normally the LS is 3 degrees, even the non-precision approaches are 3 degrees. You don't only need to go down for the landing, but you also need to slow down. That's why we actually start to extend the flaps, the gears and so on, because you need to go down and slow down. And there are a lot of aspects that can influence your approach and can make your aircraft to slow down slower, faster, and all other scenarios. Okay, so the first thing that usually uh, change the characteristics of your aircraft during your approach, that means that the aircraft slows down, the same aircraft slows down slower or faster, is your weight. So a heavier aircraft will slow down slower than a light aircraft. So if you are flying an heavy aircraft, you want to make sure that you start to slow down earlier or you start to the configuration of the flaps and the gear earlier. Because if you keep the same configuration with an aircraft which is 20,000 kilograms heavier, you will find yourself being fast compared to an aircraft that is 20,000 kilograms lighter. Okay, so when you are flying, when you're doing your approach briefing, make sure you take this into consideration. For example, an Airbus A321 that weighs 70 tons will slow down differently compared to an Airbus A321 that is weighting 55 tons. Okay, so an AV321 will slow down with more difficulties compared to a lighter uh, Airbus 31, and this is applicable to all type of aircraft. Okay, so the weight is first of all something that you can actually take and, and integrate on your approach briefing. The tailwind, so let's say that day you take the weather for your destination before the landing and you see that you have 10 knots tailwind, 5 knots tailwind, 7 knots tailwind, okay? The wind that is reporting to the meter is the wind at the threshold normally, at the airport. However, throughout the approach, at, from 10 miles down to the touchdown, you may have a stronger tailwind because the one reported on the meter that you take or the 80s, whatever it is before the, the arrival is about, is uh, related to the runway. Okay, it's not related to the 10 miles. So usually if you have 10 knots tailwind on the runway, at 10 miles you may even have 40, 50 or 60 knots, okay? or even less, but normally can go up to, I've, I've seen 60 knots tailwind, 10 miles final. What does the tailwind do? The tailwind will push you. This pushing will make uh, your aircraft to slow down uh, slower. So basically your aircraft will not slow down. So you need to make sure that when you intercept the localized and the glider, you want to have an early configuration and fly a slower speed. So we, we have seen already that the weight of the aircraft can affect your uh, deceleration rate, the uh, tailwind affects your deceleration rate, the angle of the glide drop or the descent planning will affect your deceleration rate because one thing is to descend with a constant 3 degrees and one other thing is to descend with a 3.5 or 4 degrees. Since the 3.5 or 4 degrees is steeper, the aircraft will tend to accelerate more. Thus, you need to start the deceleration and the configuration earlier. So, the uh, approach, the final uh, glide drop angle or the final descent angle can affect your deceleration rate. Also, there is another thing which is the, the seasonal. So, and in summer, the thermal from the ground that will push your aircraft up does, will you need to pitch down more in order to maintain these three degrees. And this will also affect your deceleration rate. So you, when you, there is some thermal aspect, the aircraft to fly slightly faster compared to a winter day. So a summer day and a winter day. So as you can see already, when you are 
approaching your top of the scene, you take your ATC, you see if one day you are flying a Navy aircraft in a summer day, 15th of August, flying an ELS with 3.5 degrees, with 7 or 8 or 10 knots tailwind for the landing, you see that already these four factors can affect your deceleration rate. Thus, what do you do? You want to fly below the profile, slow down earlier, configure the aircraft earlier, and then fly a slower approach because you will see that the aircraft will not slow down as you are used to it, okay? So, and all, the, all these aspects usually are the things that you should take into consideration. However, something is the briefing that you can actually anticipate when you take the 80s, when you know that your weight and so on. However, there are some other things that you cannot expect and you only get it once you get there. So, for example, you are in a nice and uh, uh, small airport, so you don't expect any traffic around. However, ATC will make you uh, fly as a number two and the aircraft in front of you is flying slower than you. Thus, you are too fast for that specific approach, regardless of the temperature, of the weight and so on. So, as you can see, there are some things that you can plan and some things that you can adapt, that you should adapt while, while you are actually doing the approach and you are live during the approach. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this short video about uh, uh, a, a final approach management, design and energy management. If you like it, give it a like to the video and consider subscribing to the channel. I wish you a good day and I'll see you in the next one.